Hey y'all, so you haven't seen me for a few days. I'm sorry, I do need to catch up on some readings. Uh, you probably hear the difference in my voice. I've been in the hospital for four days, so I have some catching up to do. But that is not my reason for making this video. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, apparently while I was gone, there were some comments made on my Aries reading that told me that I wasn't professional because I swear. I didn't know that while I was gone, someone could come in and change the rules on my page and tell me that I'm unprofessional because I speak my mind, I don't show sugarcoat shit, and I don't have time for all that. As you can see, I've told you several times, medically I have my things going on, but I'm still out here trying to help people. I don't care if you're weight shaming, I don't care if you're, you know, sex shaming, I don't care whatever kind of shaming it is you're doing. You will not do that on my page, number one. Number two, you will not discredit me because I swear. I have a background in which I've encouraged other people to go ahead and watch such background. I am highly educated, I'm not some street weirdo who doesn't know what they're talking about. So to come back from being in the hospital for four days and see that instead of taking the positive message, people are literally trying to create um, an environment where people are getting shamed. I will not fucking tolerate that, especially when it comes to me. You cannot shame me. You cannot reprimand me. You cannot tell me how to run my page. I'm a 38-year-old grown woman. With all the medical issues that I'm having, I am still trying to do good in this world. I come back and someone actually has the nerve to be talking shit about me and shaming me for swearing of all things. I'm sorry that I'm comfortable being me. I'm sorry that that's not okay with you and I have to be a sheeple. The reason I opened this business was because I wanted to be myself. I did not want to answer to somebody who forced me to be a sheeple. Go to work every day, sit in my cubicle or go out with my team and track people down. I did not go to school for all those years for someone to shame me for swearing. Yes, I swear, and I've warned people that. I smoke cigarettes on my channel. I drink coffee. And I get hospitalized from time to time, and I've warned you guys of that. Now, I love the people who stuck up for me. They really had genuine input there. Um, and provided, you know, it was very interesting to me because they went into the scientific portion of people who share actually are, well, people who share and swear, let me put it that way, are actually highly intelligent. And there's been several studies done on that. People protecting me while I was gone in the hospital for four days are in there actually telling this person, go look up studies up like go look go know what you're talking about before you come at somebody like that that's not okay and I don't want people like that in my community so if you're gonna shame people for swearing or leaving their story in the comments or whatever other prim and proper attitude you have about my page you can just see yourself the fuck out like bye Felicia because first of all I do not feel good and when I came home the first thing I wanted to do was start reading because it makes me feel better. And then I get online and I see all this bullshit shaming going on. And I'm going, I don't have to put up with this. This is my shit. This is my channel. This is my business. People who understand people like me, who speak the truth, who are not plugged into your everyday economical bullshit, who feel like they have to be prim and proper, I get to be me. Understand that. So, again, bye, Felicia. And if any of you want to pass up being here because I swear, that is fine. Language is language. We're the ones who give meaning to that language. The word fuck can mean anything you want it to mean. The only reason it has meaning is because we gave it meaning. As people, we brought that word to life. So technically, it could mean whatever you wanted it to mean if you wanted to create your own language with a friend. You could. And I've even taken classes on 
things only mean what you give them meaning to. I took a, a class called Landmark, and I don't know how many of you have taken Landmark. I'd su I'd highly suggest it. Um, it really f helps you find who you are. Uh, my one of my closest friends took me, and at first I was so reluctant to go. And by the end of it, I had learned so much about myself, and so much how to live in this world without feeling ashamed and being comfortable with who I am. So that's kind of what I wanted to put out there today and all I have the oxygen for because I have had the worst fucking couple days and I am not going to come home to people who want to talk shit about my professionalism above all things. Lady, I did that for 17 years as a rehab specialist. Don't. I want to come home and see that this community is lifting each other up. And instead of coming at this woman with, or this person, whoever you are, with mean words, they came at her with education. And I am so proud of you guys for that. With the message I'm trying to spread. Not the words. The message I'm trying to spread. I'm so proud of you guys for stepping up, the two of you, and commenting that it is not about the words I'm using. It's about the message. That I'm bringing a healing community here to each other for each other, for anyone I can find. I'm so proud of you guys for stepping up and saying, hey, this is about positivity. Why are you bringing this here? So that's kind of all I wanted to say, and I wanted to apologize to a couple of you because I had to, <clears throat> excuse me, dry mouth from medication. I wanted to voice my opinion on this because just because I swear does not make me not highly intelligent. You wouldn't actually believe my vocabulary is quite extensive. And you know what was even worse about that is I got home today from the hospital and had to fight with them about releasing me. And you know what? I didn't even get to celebrate with my family who was here. And you want to know why? Because I would have had to sit out there like this. So try that on for size. I had to sit in here by myself while my family celebrated out there. I can't leave this area without a mask. And I come home to this. But what I see in it is the two members, because I can't handle this thing in here. I can't even breathe in it. What I come home and the thing I see above all that negativity is that two members that are subscribed stepped up and was like, that's not what she's about. What she's about is the positive message, the positive community, lifting each other up, helping each other. I don't care if I'm sick right now. I will still provide the readings. It's fine. It's what I do. This is, this is my business. I don't have to conform to society anymore. I get to just be me in all my glory. So I'm going to continue to swear. I'm going to continue to smoke cigarettes if I feel the need to do so. And above all, I'm going to continue to drink my ice espresso. Let me know what y'all think in the comments, please, because I was really unhappy when I got home and saw that. But you guys truly impressed me. Like, you uplifted it. When it was negative, negative comments, thank you. Thank you for keeping that dream alive in your heart. Because that's my dream, to provide a, a kinder place for each other. And if I can come out of the fucking hospital, oh God, I said fuck. Literally, I got home at 2.30 this afternoon. And still sit down in front of this computer and get caught up and get my readings um, rescheduled and take on new readings and be here for you guys. Sick as I am, I couldn't even celebrate with my family. At least respect my fucking page. And if you can't do that and provide a loving environment because I'm swearing, oh no. Not that. Then see yourself out. Bye.
And for those of you who have kept this stream alive, I looked at the subscribers when I got home today. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for holding up this community when I was gone in the hospital. I can't thank you guys enough for continuing to subscribe and leave sweet comments. I'm going to get around to them as fast as I can. Um, I am a little bit backlogged right now, obviously, because they held me hostage. Uh, still even got my hospital bracelets on. Um, thank you for holding this community up while I was gone. You guys are fucking amazing. And that's really like, it touches my heart. You guys are amazing. And then I come home and look at the numbers of subscribers and we're nearing a thousand. We're not that far. And I'm like, holy, you guys did that. Not me. You guys are sharing, liking, subscribing. You guys are telling everybody about it. You're coming in here. You're being loving. You're uplifting each other. Read the other people's stories. They're leaving them there for feedback. Be kind. Tell them what you think. Tell them that they're stronger than whatever. Tell them, lift them up. And you guys have been so amazing since I've been gone. And I have missed you, but it has been a rough couple days. And I wasn't sure I was coming out of this one. So if I want to swear, I don't give a fuck what anybody thinks. I sugarcoat nothing. I was born and raised in Boston. I was born and raised a tomboy. I was a martial arts fighter. I worked with very dangerous people. If I want to swear at this age, being as sick as I am, I'm going to do it. So I'll catch y'all on the flip. You know the routine. Leave comments below because I love when you guys comment. I love it, love it, love it. If it's negative, keep it to yourself and keep it moving. Just keep that shit moving. Don't even need it here. I really don't, and neither does anyone else, because they're okay with the dream of coming in, being who you truly are, not the mask that you're presenting to society. I have no mask. I have no filter. If I think it, I say it. That's how I read. And to all of you, y'all are my number one right here. You have no idea. You kept me going when I came home and I saw all my family outside and I couldn't even be with them. I'm not even allowed to be around anybody without this fucking goddamn thing. And it's it was like 94 in Massachusetts today. Boston is hot as hell. Do you all want to wear this thing? Because I don't. And without it, I could potentially infect other people. <laughs> and this sounds good right now because I'm on cough syrup. I'm on... All kinds of crap. So, I can't thank you enough. Leave your comments. Keep this channel going. Y'all are amazing. Like, subscribe, and share the videos. I mean, and the amount of people that are saying, like, it's dead on for them. I truly hope that you'll continue to come back, interact with me, and keep this going. I really do. This is my dream. This is why I started this company. I mean, this is what I'm here for. I'm here to guide and help. If my swearing bothers you that much, that's all I'm going to say. I'm too sick to even fight with y'all. 